Today, AIR announced the updates to the AIR Instrument Expansion Pack, as well as Expand 2 here. And these are free updates if you had, I believe it was 2.0.2. If you didn't have that version, then it costs some money to upgrade to the uh, latest version. Now, there's lots of cool things about this update. One of them that I like is I can actually now store my license right on my iLock. But after you get your email, you can click on your free update or whatever your email happens to say. And then you enter your email address that you originally registered your purchase with, enter your confirmation code, then you'll get an email back. And that email will probably look something like this. Of course, I have all the activation codes and the download links blurred out, but it should look pretty much like this. And then we'll just go from link to link here and download all of the updates. So in this video, that's what we're going to do. We're going to download all of the 2.0.4 updates. We're going to install it and we're going to authorize onto our iLock. So let's go ahead and get started. So because I already had the, I believe it was 2.0.2 version, I was eligible for free updates for all of the instruments that come with the air instrument expansion pack as we can see my update will cost zero for hybrid zero for loom zero for strike so on and so forth so we'll start here at the top with hybrid three we'll simply click the link and this is going to be similar for every single instrument we'll come here to the updates tab okay and we'll scroll down and i'm on pc so i'll choose the 3.0.4 update for pc so i'll go ahead and grab that and we can see it's downloading okay so now we'll go ahead and head back to our email and we'll do the same thing for loom come here to the updates tab as you can see the 0.4 update for pc go and click it and it will start to download and i'll just continue doing this through all of our links strike structure transfuser vacuum and velvet and then we'll get on to installing now all of the downloads have completed we have hybrid loom strike so on and so forth they're in zipped packages so i've already unzipped all of those packages so let's go ahead and start installing we'll start here with hybrid 3 and we'll just run the application now i still have the other versions installed and you can see that here things like strike structure transfuser they're still installed so we're just going to update these all right we'll start off here with hybrid you can right click run as administrator or just double click it's up to you and we'll go through all of the prompts so i definitely want the pro tools plugin installed i'll just go ahead and install the vsts too i probably won't use them but why not and we are done with hybrid so we're going to close that pretty Easy update process. So now we will continue on. Let's go on to Loom here. We'll go ahead and set this up. We'll go ahead and install this. You know, this update process is much easier than it was previously where you had to download all new content every time. This is much easier. Go ahead and install Loom and I'll catch you when it's done. All right, so Loom was successfully installed. So all of these updates are going to be extremely similar. Um, let's go ahead and do something like Strike, something that has a big content library and we'll see how this update goes. And once again, go through our prompts. All right, so good. So we don't have to uh, direct to where the content is. That's good. I'm guessing we'll do that once it's already set up. So I'll just let this finish. I'll go through all of the other instruments and install those. And uh, I'll catch you after everything's installed. Now I have installed all of the instruments, the plugins. And before I try to open them, I'm going to go ahead and do a restart of the computer. We have restarted the computer. I went ahead and launched Pro Tools. And while it was loading the plugins, once it got to Hybrid 3, which of course we just installed, it's now asking me to activate it, try, or quit according to the instructions i believe you can also go into the app like say you click try or something and then you can go into the app and activate from there but since this has already popped up for me let's go ahead and activate from this window right here now i have already copied all of the activation codes from my email into a handy text file so they're easy to get to so i'll simply just highlight my code which of course you can't see because it's blurred out copy it and let's go ahead and hit activate here for hybrid 3. so now it's asking for our activation code we'll go ahead and click in here and just hit paste and instead of right clicking, you could of course also hit control V on Windows to paste that in. So we'll go ahead and click next. Now we need to enter our email and I'll use the email I'm using for my iLock account. And you can see we have an option here to register with my existing iLock account. We can click this little box here that says why, and it just gives you a detail of some of the uh, account benefits or you can create a new iLock account. Okay, so we'll click done there and I want to register with my existing iLock account. And you will need an iLock account for these updates, by the way. You don't necessarily have to use a key, but you do have to have an iLock account, at least according to the instructions. So we'll go ahead and click continue here. Now it brings us to this page. It says license account login. And these are my uh, credentials from my iLock account. They're pre-filled in for me, which is great. We'll go ahead and have that be on Remember Me. Again, if you don't have an iLock account, you can create one for free. But since I already have one, of course, I want to register it to that account. And we'll go ahead and click next. Now I can select where exactly I want to store my license. I can have it on my computer. So again, you don't need an iLock key. You can store it right on your computer if you wish. I can put it on my iLock 1 
or my uh, iLock version 2, which I think I'll choose that one. We can click next here. All right, so there we go. Successful activation of hybrid to my iLock key. So that means I can unplug my iLock from my computer at any time and take it to any other computer that I want to use hybrid on. Just plug it in and I'm ready to go. No activating, deactivating codes, filling in codes, whatever. So I'll go ahead and click continue here. And this is going to scan through and load more plugins. And when it gets to another plugin that still needs to be activated, we'll go through the same exact steps. So I'll go through activate. And again, I'll use the code that was emailed to me. I'll just highlight that, copy it, come over here. I'll hit control V, paste that in, next. And of course, the same email. And of course, don't forget to check your box to register with your existing iLock account if you have one. If you don't have one, then of course, don't check that. So we'll go ahead and click continue. And next, so this is exactly the same as it was with hybrid. And I'll put it on the same iLock. All right, awesome. So successful activation of Bloom onto our iLock. Click continue. And of course, we'll load more plugins. It will come to another instrument from the Air Instrument Expansion Pack. So here's Strike. It's going to pop up our activation window. And of course, we'll do the same exact thing here. So I'll go ahead and finish the rest of these instruments and I'll catch you once I'm completely done. So here we are activating Vacuum Pro. And just as an example, maybe we don't want to register it with our existing iLock account. So we'll just have our email entered and hit continue. And then you can see we have options to store on the computer or we can click store on my iLock. So I can go ahead and click iLock because that's where I want it. So that's essentially the same thing as clicking that button back here, register with my existing iLock account. Okay, and that's where I want my licenses. But if you don't want to, you can leave that unchecked and you can choose store on my computer. But it's much easier if you have an iLock, at least in my opinion. So I'll go ahead and finish these up and uh, catch you once they're all done. So we successfully activated all of our Air Instrument Expansion Pack plugins to our iLock. And I'm in here in my iLock License Manager where you can see that is in fact the case. So you can see Vacuum Pro is in here, Transfuser is on my iLock, Structure, Strike, so on and so forth. And a pretty cool thing is actually we can come here to Available. And you can see I still have activations available for all of the Air Instrument Expansion Pack plugins. So if I say select Velvet here, I'll go to Show Details. And if you look down here where it says activations, it says one of two activations used. So I believe that means I can actually go and place this activation on another computer or another iLock. That way I could have two iLocks or an iLock on a computer, whatever, you know, activate it at the same time. So that way I don't have to use one single iLock. That's pretty cool. And also, as you can notice from the icons here, valid locations to store the licenses are an iLock version one, an iLock version two, and your computer. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so everything's activated. I'm here in Pro Tools. I've loaded every single instrument onto a track just so we can make sure everything works. So let's go through these real quick. Yep, hybrid works. Let's go over here to Loom. Awesome. Let's go over here to strike. Yep, that works fine. Let's go over to structure. Cool. Let's go over here to transfuser. Transfuser works. Let's go over here to Vacuum Pro. Yep. And over here to Velvet. Okay. So there we go. Everything was successfully installed and updated. And I'll also mention one other thing here, if we go over to say Velvet, something that has a sample library, and I'll come down here and click this wrench, you can see it actually remembered where I had my uh, Velvet library stored on my E drive, which is of course not the OS drive. That's pretty cool that it actually remembered that and I didn't have to set it up again later on. We can come here to strike and check the same thing. And you can see that it actually remembered where I had previously installed it with the old version 2.0.2. So. That's pretty cool that I didn't have to go back and uh, re-update where my content actually is. If you're eligible for an update or if you're going to purchase it, there's the steps. Now you know. Download them, install them, activate them, and uh, go have fun.